Well, good evening, everybody. It is a Wednesday night. That means, of course, it is time for our Coach's Corner show. I am Craig Kilman, uh, in-studio producer Michael Collins. We're joined by uh, first-year Alva Goldbug head coach Taylor Sweatfigure to talk Goldbug football. Uh, of course, we've got our Northwestern football talk coming up later with Inside the Line with uh, head coach Matt Walter. That's coming up this evening as well. Um, both shows, of course, generating live here from Champs Sports and Spirits as we uh, open things up and talk. Goldbug football, Alva coming off. Uh, obviously a very impressive win over Newkirk uh, last Friday night on the road. Put 74 points on the board. A new school record. 700 yards in total offense as well. Coach, welcome you in. Um, that was uh, a game that Obviously, we said it last week on the show, big, big game. I mean, we needed that, obviously, to get a district win, to put ourselves in good position as we go forward. And, man, we certainly came out and from, a, from an offensive standpoint, certainly executed about about as well as you could execute, I would say. I mean, and it's so, so many things are, are great about that. I was so nervous about uh, being a young team and going on the road. And like you and I said, I mean <clears> – <throat> understandably so Newkirk's not a tremendous team I mean they're they're a decent team I mean this is a team that made the playoffs and played Oklahoma Christian as close as they did in three games they did yeah so um, but my deal was going on the road and having a must win and uh, I was nervous about it and you know I told the kids uh, I told them Thursday I said you know I'm and Ron Sunderland talked uh, yeah. at the at the pregame, and he, yeah, he, and he made it. He made a good point. He said, "You know what? It's time to put last year to bed." Yes, and you, you know it, it, that's interesting because um, it, he, he we talked about that on the broadcast as well, uh, and that's a perfect point. I think it's. Uh, I think we still kind of want to somewhat go back to that because we we see the changes, but yeah. at the same point, you know, it is. You, you know, yeah. last week, last year's over. It is. I mean, we're we're. We're so far removed from it, oh, I guess, yeah, is what absolutely. we're saying. You know, we're we're to the point now, <clears throat> you know, and I don't think any of us thought we were going to be where we're sitting where we are at this quickly. Quickly, yes. And, and so um, for it's like I said, you know, guys, I just I feel like we're a good football team. And so let's 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 be a good football team. Let's quit saying if we go over to Newkirk and play well, if we can go over there and win, let's just go win. Yeah. Let's, let's do what a good football team does and goes on the road and beats a team that you know you should beat. Let's just do that. Absolutely. And, and quit trying to feel, feel everybody out. You know, let's quit showing up to the game and be like, well, I wonder how this is going to go. Yeah. You know, we, they beat us last year. Do right. We, look, we know we're better now. So let's, we win. And that's what I was proud of. I mean, they really, um, put the throttle down, and they just really never let up. No. And that's what I was ex- I was proud of them about that. You know, we had a few lapses defensively, but yep. in, in our favor, that's a team that runs the wishbone and runs it 50 times a game, and they had to start trying to throw they it did. To, to do anything. Yeah. And so that's, that's what, you know, one thing you can say, hey, look, at least we made them get out of their element. If they were going to do anything, they had to get out of what they do. Yeah, so. the only real – you know, big run play that they had was the touchdown that the kid, mm. the, the Scott kid run. That was about 44 yards. That yep. was their first score of the night. Um, yep. They had an interception return, of course, for one of their touchdowns. And yep. the rest of them were, they, they went through the air, basically. Yep. Yep. Um, and, but, you know, again, the, the key is we had a great start. We, we, we <clears> get the ball first, march down, get that first score. Yep. And then from a defensive perspective, uh, I mean, we just certainly, we flew around the football field, but then. The turnovers just piled up oh, in yeah. big, yeah, big. And, and here's the here's the thing. Not the. It, it's great that we got the turnovers. We forced them. Sometimes you don't do anything with the turnovers. Yeah, and, sure. And here's the here's the great thing. They turned it over every time. We scored every time. Yeah. I mean, so yeah. it, it just kept falling yeah. into itself. But I, but I thought what was great is we we kept our focus in that regard. And every time that they made a mistake, we made them pay for it. That's right. We did. And and that's a mark of a team that is is maturing, um, and is taking advantage of opportunities and uh, you know that's huge in this game you know t- just like Hennessy took advantage of opportunities in our game that we didn't take advantage of looking yep. back a couple weeks ago you know so um, I, you got to be proud of that and like you said I mean gosh set a school record yeah um, you know, I, 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 I vaguely looked through last week, but I'm reasonably sure um, I can say I don't think anybody in state Oklahoma rushed for 565 yards last week in any class. Yeah. Um, and so that's something. I mean, it is. that's, I mean, you know, you, you come out and, and so those, like Mr. Parker saying, and some of those guys that played back in the day that have been here forever, they said, Coach, we don't ever remember. Uh, that kind of offensive production in a game against anybody, anybody. at any time. And so, yeah. um, and that comes against a team, like I said, that made the playoffs last year. It's not yeah. like they're a they're a, a cellar dweller every year. I mean, they're yeah. they're. 
they're kind of in and out of the playoffs. So we, for us to go over and do that on their homecoming um, was, was extremely exciting. Um, I think it carried over this week to an extent that it might have been a little too much. Right. You know, uh, we, everybody in town is talking about it. Everybody at school is talking about it. And um, so we, we need to, just like we said, we put last year to bed. Well, we need to put last week to bed because right. um, what we got coming this week will be a little bit different story. It will be a completely different story, certainly. Um, but the other thing I thought that was that was pretty good is from an execution standpoint, and I don't have the penalty numbers in front of me, but there weren't a ton of no. penalties from our perspective. No. Um, and so it was just a pretty clean game. We had we had one fumble on the, on on a kickoff or punt. Punt I think return. It was a punt, punt, punt return. return. Yeah. That was in the first half, and then we had the interception that, that yeah. got returned yeah. for a touchdown. Yeah. Only two turnovers on yep. the night. Yep. And coming from a freshman and a sophomore. Exactly. Both of those yep. that, that young happened. young cats. Yeah. And yet and yet uh, and yet we still did everything we needed to do as we said mm-hmm. we had 12 offensive possessions scored on 11 of those yeah uh and the only reason why we didn't score on the last one because obviously yeah, the game we, was we, over we just let um, it run out yeah and from a from a, a standpoint of i, I want to bring this up and it's not it, it's not a big deal um from the point total um let's let's be clear on what happened there that probably would not have necessarily happened that that amount of points sure. if Newkirk had pulled uh, most of their players oh. like you would have expected when it's 54 to 14 nope. at halftime I yeah. know I know and we've had this this, this discussion yeah. you did not want to necessarily no. just keep throwing your guys yeah. out there but at the same time when Newkirk has their big cats out there still yeah. you don't want to go full freshmen and all those guys oh. and put them in that position. So Gosh. so that's really, you know, people look at that score and say, God, they really ran it up. But it was not the case. Right. Oh, no, not at all. I mean, yeah. you, you hit the nail on the head. I mean, I I got the word across to the sideline over there that we wanted to play some young guys in the second half. We spent halftime getting the young guys ready, yeah. getting them warmed up. And um, I got the word back that he said no. I mean, you can if you want, but we're not. No, we're not running the clock. We're not doing, you know. And so I tried to even open up with some young I put Mitch in there and got some other guys in there and, and he throws a pick six on one of their best players and I just I said you know what we're not gonna we're not gonna do this when the game is you know and not to say that it wasn't in hand at that no. point but still um, I wasn't gonna give them any life at all uh, in the deal and like you said I mean we tried and we did in the fourth quarter we subbed out quite a bit yes. we, um, I think one or two of those scores came with Mitch and D just running yes, back and just forth running, yeah. um, so uh, and the one thing I thought too is is in talking about Mitchell um after he threw that pick, my my also thinking was, why get a, a kid's confidence? Down? No, if something yeah. like that happens, and then something happens it's again, worse. oh yeah, no reason to yeah. do that to a freshman mm-hmm. who you're bringing along, and he, yep. he's going to be a big part of this yes. offense from years yep. to come. Yep. No reason to keep him, you know, throwing him out there in a situation like Absolutely that. Absolutely right, and it was probably a poor call. My, we had just got a quick turnover, and I was trying to take a shot at the end zone. Sure, um, and uh, you want to get those young quarterbacks knowing that, hey, look, we're going to go take a shot after a turnover. We're trying to put the net, you know, nail, and just he made a poor decision, and it was a poor call. I mean, I'll take that. I shouldn't have put him in that spot. He's probably not ready for that. Um, but I think at the same time, he knows, you know, he knows that was a poor decision on his part as well. But, um, I, again, you hit the nail on that. I'm not going to put um, our 14-, 15-year-old freshman in there against those 18-year-old kids that were weighing 250, 60 yeah. pounds. I'm just not going to do it. Um, there's there's no sense in that. And, and um, there's a way. I know people understand, but there's a way to lose, and there's a way to win. Absolutely. And, um, you know, he didn't do anything to make his program better. And, and when you're getting beat like that, you know – I, I've been on both sides of those. I've given a lot of those out, and I've taken a few of them. So yeah. you, every, in this profession, you do. You of just course. know. And so when the game's out of hand, get the young kids in there and let them get better. Both sides. I was yeah. willing to do that, and he, he you know. But uh, like you said, I mean, hey, um, it is what it is. I mean, we really could have scored another one. And yes. if Mitchell didn't throw that pick, we're going to score that drive too. Yeah. So, I mean, it yeah. could have been ridiculously high. So, um, not that we would ever try to run it up on somebody. But what's crazy is I know we said let's put last year to bed, but I want to say this. Would you ever have thought – that coming in this year that you would be saying, gosh, coach, did, did, did you run the score up on somebody? I mean, yeah. I mean, literally. No, I mean, I know. so it was good for our kids to do that. Yes. I mean, it was good for them to open up and let the chains flow and let's roll and, and, and let it go. Yeah. And, and you and I talked about this the other night. Um, and it's a, it's a perfect point. I mean, this is a, I mean, you're down as low as you can get when you go 0 10. And the way we lost a good majority of oh, those yeah. games, yeah. you know, we know that we've been. Yeah. And, and so to have that on the flip side, where we're the ones that are yeah. that dominant in a game like that, yeah. 
may be something that nev- that you never see again in terms of that type of production. Yeah. You, know, you want production every night, but you yeah. may not see yeah. anything to that standpoint. Never, yeah. um, for them to be able to say they were a part of that, it, it is a good thing. It is a confidence yeah. booster for Absolutely. Them. Absolutely. I mean, and, and we kind of put a trademark. We're, we're, we're starting to get an identity of, hey, this is what we do. This is who we are. Um, you know, we. what's funny is if you go back and look at the week before, I think we threw it. 20 times maybe against Tennessee, 25, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah I'm not fact, sure. It is. <clears throat> what was it? I think uh, I had it. Actually, it wasn't. See, it was about, uh, yeah, Tennessee 15. Uh, yeah, it was a little over a little over 20. Okay. 23, and something tw- 23, like that. yeah, which yeah, is a fair amount times of times to between, throw it in high between school. Between Austin year. and Mitch. Yeah, 23 times, and then you go from 23 to 9. Yeah. You know, and so we're you have to prepare for two types of offenses with me. We're we're capable of putting it on the ground and and going. And and then we're also capable of we can put it in the air a little bit and play, you know, which we've proven that Thomas, you know, had some big numbers at Thomas and just throughout the year. So um, I like kind of where we're going. We need to find an identity early in this game um, Friday night, you know, because it's a different type of defense, obviously, that we're going to be facing. We'll talk about that, I'm sure. But, yeah. um, you know, a, it's a big thing for us is to get comfortable with something and keep rolling. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to take a quick time out. I'm going to bring you back in. We'll talk about uh, practice this week, and then we'll kind of uh, go into uh, what we do with, with Chisholm, which is obviously a big game, certainly yeah. homecoming and all that stuff, festivities yeah, thrown absolutely. in there, too. But we'll take a quick, quick break. We'll talk to our players real quick and come back for more. It's part of our Coach's Corner show tonight, live from Champ Sports and Spirits here on KELV. Yeah, yep. All right, just a, just a 30. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Travis, how are you, man? Good. All right, perfect. <coughs> Welcome back to our Coach's Corner show tonight, live here on a Wednesday night from Champ Sports and Spirits. Uh, we're joined by our k k Body Works Northwest Electric Company defensive player of the game from last week, senior defensive end Travis Costello. Travis, how are you, man? Good. How you doing? I am good. Um, another, uh, I thought, really good performance by the defense, and, and we've seen now five games in. I, I think the defense is playing very well. Uh, you personally had... Uh, Another great game defensively, finished with, I think, seven tackles, had one sack. I look at my stuff. And uh, also had uh, another fumble cause. Um, the, you guys, as that front unit, the, the nose guard, the defensive tackles, you guys um, have really been getting a lot of pressure up front. Has that been something that you guys have really been working on as this season has kind of gone on? Yeah, we practice that all, all the time, defensively. And- that's all we do in Indy is practice how to get by and yeah. cuts and all that. From from your perspective, Travis, uh, senior year, is it – we're halfway through it in terms of the regular season. Has anything sunk into you yet that uh, that you're kind of maybe halfway through senior year of football? Is, is that kind of hard to believe at this stage? Yeah, it's come by really quick, and, I mean, I'm just – Trade to want to win. I don't really thought about that yet. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It, especially after going through what we went through last year. Um, from your perspective, um, you know, defensively, they've slotted you in at that defensive end spot, kind of from game one. Do you feel like that is a great position for you? I feel like as as soon as I kind of saw that was the depth chart and they were going to kind of put you in that defensive end spot, it seems like it's perfect. Your size, you've got some speed, can get up the field. And, you know, what was your thinking when you thought, hey, this is primarily what they're going to put me at this year? Yeah, I like that spot. I like playing. I mean, I play physical. I like just getting hitting people. Yeah. And and you guys have a, from a defensive standpoint with Coach Sklar, you've got a scheme that, that, that wants you to be physical. And I mean, I know defense is always about physical, but he's certainly much more about, you know, the pressure and, and you guys up front getting it done. Is it is it fun working in that type of scheme? Yeah, I like that. I like being, I just like the physical out and all that. Yeah. Um, as you guys get ready for Chisholm, big rival. Um, it's obviously homecoming, so there's a lot of stuff going on other than that, but uh, what are you guys looking forward to as you kind of get ready for that big game on Friday? I don't know. We're just focusing on the win and just stopping the run. One game at a time, right? Yeah, one game at a time. <laughs> kind of how you have to do it. Travis, great game for you. Uh, you've had a great season so far and, and look forward to, to seeing you throughout the rest of the year. 
All right. All right. Thanks to Travis Costello. He was our defensive player of the game. We're going to slide in and talk offense with sophomore Davion Murrow. Had a well, one of many offensive players that had uh, a big game on last Friday. Davion, how are you, sir? Good, and you? I am good. Um, huge night offensively for you guys, obviously. Um, 500 and... 46 yards of rushing offense, or 64 yards. I, I was shortchanging you a little bit there. Um, you and Hayden both go over 100. Hayden had 272 yards rushing, three touchdowns. You had 170 yards rushing and three touchdowns. Um, Austin was 15 yards away from having another 100-yard rusher, too. Um, what was it like for you guys offensively to, to be a part of a game where you guys were that successful? Did you guys – Envision you would be able to do quite that that well against Newkirk. Well, I mean, we didn't really envision it, but we go out there, we try our best, you know, and I mean, it just kind of happened. So, I mean, we went with it and just did our best, I guess. Davion, you you played a lot, obviously, as a freshman, uh, but what do you have you felt the differences of freshman to now sophomore? Um, obviously, you're getting playing a lot of time this year too, but. Do you feel physically different than when you were a freshman? Is it is the mentality different from when you were in fr- a freshman? What's it kind of feel like as you're going out there now and, and being more part of the offense even? Well, uh, during the summer, we worked out a lot, you know, just doing what we should. And we kind of went out there just – it's easier for me, honestly. But I was kind of – not going to lie, I was kind of scared sure. then. But now I've kind of got my confidence down and I'm just going with it. Well, again, uh, you guys have, I think, a good, solid offensive line that's helping you out as well. And Austin Sklar, as the quarterback, has has really done a good job. Um, As you guys look forward to Chisholm, I know you guys have watched film. I know you've worked on him in practice. Um, What do you guys think about taking on one of the top teams in the district? Well, I mean, it's going to be tough, of course. It's going to be a pretty good game. But we're just going to kind of do our thing and run the ball like we should. And, I mean, if that doesn't work, we're going to have to pass it. But, I mean, it's just going to be a tough game, and we're going to have to work. So, Absolutely. Homecoming and all that stuff to boot, the, 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 the football game is kind of the big thing, though, right beyond the other homecoming stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Davion, appreciate the time. Great game for you last Friday, and good luck uh, this coming Friday. Right, thank you. You bet. Our thanks to Davion Murrow, the sophomore, our offensive player of the game. 19 carries, 170 yards, and three touchdowns last week in the 74-28 win over Newkirk. Uh, we will slide the headsets back on to uh, Coach Sweatfigure, get some final comments for him as we get ready for Chisholm. Coach, um, Chisholm, obviously, let, let's talk them. Uh, they are undefeated. They're top five ranked team in, in Class 2A. Um, they haven't played Hennessy yet. That's still looming for them as maybe the district championship game. We don't want to give them to that point yet, but they're obviously very good. They, they have weapons on offense. They're physical on defense, but from your perspective, as you look at them, uh, what are your big challenges? Well, <clears throat> they do a really great job of getting the ball. And they're, uh, the thing about it, their identity is their speed. Yep. Um, they have a lot of team speed. They're very they fast to the ball defensively, and they're very fast offensively. I mean, they, they, they do things to get the ball into athletes in space, and they do it quickly. And so that's their – the thing for us is, you know, we handle the we handle the football pretty well between the tackles. Mm-hmm. Um, nobody has just lined up and gone um, 20 to 20 on us consistently right. between the tackles. I mean, they just haven't done it. Um, Hennessy might have a drive here. Thomas might have had a drive here. But throughout the game, we, we can handle it. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll adjust. Um, that's not that's not Chisholm. They're going to get to the edge, and they're going to stretch the field and make you tackle in space. And that's scary for for me looking at us because that's that's a skill set that I'm not I not say we don't have. It's just that takes time to develop. That. Right. You can you can get kids to to play physical and pin their ears back and run downhill. You can do that. Yeah. Um, and it's hard to get them to run lateral and tackle right. in space. Exactly. Um, with good athletes. Because if they get that edge with that quickness, they're it, gone. It's gone. He's gone. Yeah. Um, they're putting up crazy points um, on everybody. I think they've got 12 points all year defensively. Yeah. Including uh, shutting out Thomas. Now, that was for a half because yeah. of lightning, yeah. but still shut them out. <clears throat> yeah. You know, they, they've been very impressive. They shut Thomas out. Um, and, you know, Looking at that game, watching the film on it, um, that was a weird game for Thomas. I'm not going to lie. Um, they they played those two quarters probably 
a little bit similar or worse than they played two quarters against us. Right. I yeah. mean, they turned the ball over like a plague. Um, they marched the ball down to the eight yard line and turned it over. I mean, they just did a lot of things that things that they don't typically. They do. are not uncharacteristic of a team that wins state championship. Yeah. And Chisholm took advantage of it, and they scored on a reverse pass on fourth and twelve. Chisholm did. I mean, they um, they had a pick early in the game that the kid ran back. I mean, they just did some things to Thomas that to take advantage of that score. I mean, the score was not indicative of the game right. uh, at all. And so, uh, but at the same token, I tell our kids, I think they won 27 to nothing yes, and a half. Yes, it was. Yeah. Well, we scored 25 straight on them. Yeah. You know, we, we beat them in three quarters, 25 sure. to nothing. So I said, you know, that's not, to me, that doesn't say anything that we can't do. Yeah. So um, other than Thomas, they played no one. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not taking anything away from them, <clears throat> but I will tell you that we have played three teams that um, are better, you know, we played Thomas when they were completely healthy. Yes, yes. They did not. Completely different They were a different team, yeah. so I'm not giving them that one. Uh, Hobart's better than most of the teams they've played. Yeah. You know, and I know Hobart has, still hasn't won a game, I but know. they're still better. Yes. I mean, I, and I, that tells you about some of the teams they've played. Yeah. Um, you know, O'Keen is – Hey, oh, I'll tell you how bad O'Keen is. And I'm not, no, no, I know. I, I know say what, radio, I know what you're going to say. Newkirk being 30. I said the exact same thing to Ron Sunderland, and I, he can tell you I told you that. Yeah, yeah. and so, um, no, I mean, you know, that looking at what they've had to go against, you know, O'Keen is just – not good. No. Newkirk is not good. Um, they played Fairview. Played right. Fairview, and Fairview struggling a little bit. Um, I think their quarterback got hurt in that game against Chisholm, who was the only player. And that was seven to nothing in the second quarter. Right. That was a, you know what I mean? Yeah. That was a tough game. Yeah. And when that uh, Smith kick came out from Fairview, Chisholm opened it up a little bit. But that was that was a back and forth game. I mean, yep. they opened it up second half. Um, and they've also played. Um, uh, who'd they play like? Watonga. And yeah, Watonga's struggling. They're yeah. just not very good. Yeah. So, um, you know, and I'm not saying that we've played a lot of world beaters. I mean, obviously, OBA struggles. But uh, I'm going to tell you, OBA scrimmage, Newkirk, earlier in the year and beat him 14 to nothing in a scrimmage. Yeah. So, God, I mean, you just got to look at it and go, boy, they have not played anybody. Thomas was a good football team, and they came out on top of that deal. But other than that, um, Fairview would be the next closest. And, uh, and again, they only played a half with Thomas. They like only we, played a half. We hey, say that you that should because game. you don't know what would happen. You don't. Half. I mean, it was um, <clears throat> not to say it would have been different, but you never know. Yeah. Um, if Thomas doesn't turn the ball over like they do, it's a seven nothing game at half. Right. They they they're going to play the second half yeah. no matter how long it takes. Yes. Yes. Um. So uh, any that like you said, they haven't played Hennessy. You know, everybody saw the Hennessy game. We had plenty of chances to be yeah. in that football game in the fourth quarter. I mean, that game could have came down to who had the ball last. Yeah. If we take care of business. Yes. And so, um, like you said, it's hard to sit there and go, "Hey, Chisholm Hennessy district title game." I hate that because right. I think you got to go through us right now to to get to that. Sure. Say you can do that. Sure. You know. Um. And so, you know, we have to earn the right to say, "Look, we're we're in the we're in the mix, we're in the discussion." We we made a big step forward last week to say yeah, that. I, I think. Agree. I mean, it's hard to ignore that. Um, but at the same time, we ha- we haven't played anybody with the yeah. team speed that Chisholm we, has. We have to do that against a team like Chisholm. We do. To we wake, we to, we have to, to execute. Yeah, up. we have to execute. Obviously, we're not going to put the, the number of points on the board, but the percentage of 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 um, I guess I should say success with our drives offensively need to be yeah. very indicative of that. We don't necessarily have to score every time, but we need to hang on to the football. We need yeah. to move the football. We need to take time off the clock. Yeah. That's how you compete with a team like Chisholm. Yeah. Um, and we can't have a lot of three and outs. If, we, if you're calling three and outs Friday night, then it, I'll just tell you right now, it's not going to be a good deal. Yeah. Um, and, and it could happen. I mean, they're, they're really fast to the football. Um, you're going you're gonna to call 57 in the backfield a lot. Um, that kid can play. He can That's flat the kid, out play. Yeah, he can go. Yeah, um, Jay Curless. Yeah, he. Yeah. I think a lot of him. Senior, five um, eleven, <clears throat> two thirty seven. He's strong and fast. He he plays hard. Um, you know, God, they just. They, Joey's got them going. I mean, yeah. Coach Ryan has those kids playing hard, and again, they're believing in the system. Um, he put his time in there, went one and nineteen for two years, yeah. and then gradually got better. You know, I think they went four and six, five and five, and then had like a, a nine and one, and then or eight and two or something like that. I mean, so. Um, uh, I mean, luckily for us, knock on wood, I think we're way ahead of schedule. Yeah. And so we're not going to have to go through those one and nines and zero oh and tens to get to where we're at. Uh, but you know, uh, Ina News and Eagle called me today, and I had an interview with them, and they said that you know they had already talked to Joey, and he had made the comment that 
hey, this feels like the biggest rivalry that it's been in a long time. Yeah. And um, – I thought, you know, that says a lot about our kids. Yeah. If if that's how Chisholm feels, that they're coming over here thinking this is going to be a battle and they're excited to play in this game, then, hey, we've done our job thus far. So let's go make it a ball game. And let's, you know, well, just like what we've said all year, Craig, I mean, we, I told you, I didn't tell anybody. I could, I could not look at our schedule and say we're gonna. This is a game we're gonna win. This is a game we're gonna win. We just couldn't do that. But our motto going in is, hey, I don't care who we're playing. They're gonna know when they leave that they played us. Yeah. And they're gonna know how we play. And uh, that's all we're looking for Friday. Hey, uh, I told uh, told um, the Eden you know, News and Eagle the same thing. I'm gonna say right now. I don't. This game does not define us. This this game does not define our season. It does not define where we are with our program. If we win by forty, if we lose by forty, if we lose by two or win by two, I don't care. It doesn't matter as long as our kids fight, play as well as they can, uh, continue to get better, and we go on the next three weeks after OCS, which doesn't does doesn't not count, count toward right, district, not district and and win out. Let's go win out and get in the playoffs. Let's take a second, third, or fourth place, and let's go yeah. do something. I mean. And that's been our goal from day one. We want to be playing week 11. Yep. And if and like I said, this game does not dictate that. Um, if we win, it puts us in tremendous position Absolutely. to host a playoff yes, game. Yes, yes. Which, gosh, when's the last time Alva did that? 2006, six, maybe? We actually did the uh, first year that Coach Dollar was here. So okay. Three years ago. Three years ago. So, there yeah, you yeah. go. So um, we would have a chance to do yeah. that. And that would, that would be just – I mean, that would be outlandish. Uh, but, but hey, I'm going to tell you, it's a possibility. If these kids come ready to go, and quite frankly, it's Alva Chisholm and, and anything goes. I mean, yep. it's like OU Texas. Yep. yep. So, I mean, so. It's going to be know. fun. Yep. Looking forward to it. Coach, appreciate the time. We'll see you Friday, and happy homecoming and all that. Hey, yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> all right. Our thanks to Coach Sweat. Figure that's going to wrap it up for us. Uh, Coach's Corner live from Champ Sports and Spirits. We'll talk uh, Northwestern football here in just a bit on Inside the Lines. Uh, that's coming up shortly here on KELV.